Well, I've spent the day chasing the elusive skidoo uh, drive axle bearing. Uh, this is part number Amazon Mike 31 Uniform Charlie 205. So that's M31 UC205. And at the end of the day, it's not available. It's not manufactured, it's not available. Kimpex makes an equivalent and uh, it's not available uh, anywhere. I've, I've been chasing this for a day and a half. In any case, research has led me down finally a different path because it's discontinued uh, as far as skidoo is concerned. So I had to come with a solution as to what I'm putting in there. So uh, what I've done is uh, taken measurements of this bearing. The difference between this and anything else I can find, this is the locking collar side with the um, Allen key, Allen screws in it to lock it to the shaft. And the back side over here has a collar sticking out. That's what differentiates this from other bearings I can find. And it's necessary because the, the back collar of this, there's a bolt that goes through here. This is it, it's a bolt and a big washer. And that holds, that bolts into the end of your drive axle. And this spacing is critical because if the spacing wasn't there, um, the axle would move further this direction into the transmission and probably damage the transmission. So the spacing is critical and has to be kept. So uh, at the end of the day, I've got a solution for this. So there's a very common bearing out there and it's used on many snow machines and other applications. This one is, an, is a SB, that's Sierra Bravo, 205-16 and uh, obviously the dimensions are somewhat different for the collar because the inside collar is identical so this this side is perfect the back doesn't have the stick out collar like this one does and you can see it's not there so uh, I had to come up with a solution so that the axle will be in the right place and the solution is washers and I have found the exact combination of washers, spacers, washers, uh, they're called different things when you look them up. So these spacers are by a company called Dynaline and the small spacer is 050. Uh, that is a part number 22708. The thick spacer is 080 and that one is part number 22709. Again, these are Dynaline spacers and they're uh, an inch inside so they will go over the axle just perfectly so at the end of the day what I end up with is this and it turns out to be exactly the same once I put the, that stack of washers on so before I bolt the axle uh, when I put it in place these washers will slide over the end of the axle and then the uh, bolt and cap will go on top like so and I will have the exact same thing I had before with the bearing that's no longer available. So I'm going to uh, put this together and uh, get it all in place and we should be good to go. Uh, I'll put in the comments the uh, part numbers that I've used here because this is going to be a very common problem. Any Skidoo wide track uses this bearing uh, up to 2007 and they're no longer available. So uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one chasing this. So here we have the bearing in place. It's bolted back into the snow machine here. You can see the sled. So that's the SB205-16 bolt and washer on the end of it and the washers to make up the space um, of the collar. Here's the old one. And, oh, sorry, it goes that way. So there's the old one, but the new one didn't have that collar on the outside. So the washers are making up the difference so everything seems to be okay at the moment we'll find out and give it a try but I'm pretty confident it's going to be good